Alright, so let's begin. First I'm going to use some brown in the background. This will be our mountains. Next, I'm going to add a little bit of yellow. Next, I'm going to add some black here in the bottom. Just like so. You'll see what that, that will be. Then I'm going to add some orange. This will be our ground. But I don't want it to be too orange, so I'm going to add a light coat of yellow on top of that. That's right, I want you to cover the entire painting. Maybe not so much on the bottom, but at least the top half, you want to cover it all. Now we're going to create our sky. Some blue. A little bit of red. Just like so. See how I'm going back and forth? I'm not spraying the entire paint on the painting. Just the mist. A little bit of yellow. I really like my colorful skies. And a little bit of orange. Now, if you want to get fancy, and you have these available to you, I'm going to use some purple. And you can just use a, a mixture of colors. It makes your painting come to life. I'm going to create some clouds. The more realistic clouds to use your can. See that? Just like so. Magazine sheet. Go ahead and create our mountains. This is a. Alright. Just like so. Tap and remove. Tap and remove. Very good. See that? Okay. And just keep doing that to get the desired effect that you're looking for on your mountains. Alright, I'm going to come in, just do some lines, right across those mountains, just like so. See that? Good. Now, just add quite a few. Maybe some going this way, that way. There we go. Alright. Next. We grab our sea sponge and tear a piece off, just like so. Now, I'm going to use this as a plate. We're going to put this down, and we're going to mix the colors on the, on the sheet of magazine of the weeds that we're going to paint on the background. I'm going to use some brown, some orange, some yellow, and some green. Just like so. Now, with our sponge, I'm going to dip it into a little bit of green and a little bit of orange. Just like so. Now I'm going to come here and just very quickly make quick brushes upwards. See that? Just like so. See, and that gives you a very realistic grass. Just like so. Good. Now, I want you to do this throughout your painting in the spots that you believe it would look good. Just like so. See? I'm just doing random spots. If you start running out of paint, just go ahead and spray some more on there. And it'll happen. That or it'll start to dry. So you might want to you know, keep spraying it, keep the paint moist. It'll give it a, a, a very unique color scheme to the seeds, so it won't just be black. Okay, there we go. See that? Okay, now you're going to want to do that to all the stems that you place on your painting. We 
went ahead and added quite a bit. Once you've uh, finished the yakos on the top, I went ahead and tore another piece of uh, magazine off, put that off to the side. We're going to go ahead and add some colors now. You'll see what I mean, some, some wildlife, wildflower colors. So I'm going to go ahead and put some yellow, a little bit of purple, just like so, a little bit of blue, okay, and a little bit of red. See that? Okay. Now, using a different piece of the sponge, we're going to go ahead and just, yeah, there are colors that we spray painted on the side, purple, there's a lot of wildlife out there that has purple, so we're going to put just random spots, you know, you don't want to clutter one side with just one color. Spray paint a little bit off on the side and then randomly and just spread them throughout your painting. See that? Just like so. And see how, how you're getting this balance of yellow, of the yellow flowers with, with the purple ones. Just like so. Alright, so we come in with the blue. And do the same, just, just like so, or random spots. See that? All throughout your painting. And there you go, folks. Real quick, and you have a masterpiece. Now, using the tip of the spray castle tool that I have, I'm going to scratch my name into the painting. You can use markers. And it is done. You know it's an original spray castle.